ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another gameplay commentary it's been a minute since i've done these we've been on a cut com rant haven't we well this clip this video is taken from my stream that i streamed i want to say two three four maybe i don't know i can't remember when i streamed this but i know we streamed this and this was in the first gunfight tournament that i've done and i'm not talking about a cmg or a cash prize it's the actual tournament within the game we were getting crushed i mean crushed at the beginning of this game it's the semi-finals and we were playing a team that was on xbox i'm pretty sure they were actually pretty good i'm not gonna lie we were just <laughs> a little bit better you you know how it goes you know how it goes but we we're playing the gunfight tournament and we get to the semis and this team is low-key talking a little bit of trash they're not talking too much trash it's all friendly they were pretty cool they were cool afterwards as well but they got high on their horses got high thinking that they were good at the game, that they were going crazy and everything. I was suffering from some stuttering. Uh, this game still hasn't fixed the frame rate problems for NVIDIA graphic cards, apparently. And it's it's pretty frustrating, but it is what it is. But nonetheless, this was the game we came back from 1-5. Yes, we come back from down 5-1. No bullshit. I can't make this up. You'll see. You'll see. We end up snapping. I thought I was going to have to carry this whole tournament. But my boy Jake, Jake the Snake, I don't really know if that's a good nickname, but we're going to go with it. He came out and he turned up, all right? I also noticed that there's a bit of screen ripping or screen tearing in this gameplay, all right? So please forgive me. I haven't really understood how to record on PC just yet. I'm still trying to get familiar with it. I'm switching fully to PC no matter how this game is. My PC is just better than my console. And for anybody else who disagrees, I'm sorry. That's just the facts. So moving back to the topic at hand, this tournament went really well. We ended up winning the next game too. I've thrown in here. This is pretty pretty long honestly it's probably one of my longer videos but i'm having fun making videos right now and it's just a gameplay commentary and i have a lot on my mind so i feel like talking about it so the news of the video or what we're talking about today is that warzone may have gotten delayed now i'm not talking about that has gotten delayed in terms of announcements or anything just delayed in terms of the rumors and stuff that we were talking about it didn't get delayed for me as i predicted the early 2020 release date i mean that's what the gaming revolution was talking about that's what all the facts hinted at and we all knew that it was in the game so not that big of a deal to me and the people who follow me on the channel we kind of knew this was going to happen but it got delayed in terms of when we thought it was going to release because i thought after the trailer and what we seen from within the game for season two i thought that that was going to be maybe late february maybe this week possibly i really thought it was going to be this week because they said it was surprising and everybody was leaking it was going to be surprising like apex and i thought once apex got leaked everybody kind of just knew when it was coming out because apex announced it right then and there but it's Activision. You guys know how Activision is. All they do is they do the wrong thing in marketing, the wrong thing in their games. This is what they've come to do. This is, I don't understand why they do it. I don't understand what kind of marketing or their ploy or whatever it is that they're trying to go through and do. It's, it's dumb. All right. They obviously don't know how to market their game anymore, which is kind of surprising because you would think a money hungry people or a money hungry producer or a game developer like Activision would understand that marketing their game would make them more money. But they don't understand that. Then again, you kind of get complacent when you know that every time you drop a game, you're going to set records anyway, which is what Call of Duty does every single year and including this year. So, I mean, it is what it is. But nonetheless, the game got delayed. It's not coming out when we thought it was going to be coming out, or at least some of us, most of the community thought it was going to be coming out. And it's not that I'm disappointed. I'd rather them take their time with it and make sure that it works. I'm always for that. I don't understand why people want games to be rushed and they're just waiting on it. But then again, when you add something into the game that people have been waiting for all year, which was a mode that was featured last year, and it's going to be free to play and cross play, and it's Call of Duty, and it's Modern Warfare. I mean, there's a lot of hype with this Battle Royale, as you can, you can already know. It's already something everybody's looking forward to, if they do it correctly, obviously. And did you see those Deagle shots? I mean, where was my bullet going? Uh, that, that's what I was talking about. Through the first half of this game, it's really right here that I just shut up and I was just like upset with the game. I was like, look, it is what it is. We lost probably, but we're just going to give it all all and we're just going to come back here. And as soon as I said that, you can like hear me. I might play the clip. You can hear me literally say, all right, cool. We're going to come back from this. We're going to do good. But it is what it is, man. This is how gunfight goes. This is how this game is. Sometimes you just got to get over the bullshit to enjoy yourself. And speaking of getting over the bullshit to enjoy yourself, is this what people do on this game? So I just loaded up the 1v1 Rust game mode, man, and I tried playing it, and I think that we literally have a sickness. I, I mean, I think the developers have a sickness. It, there has to be some type of mental disease going on there, all right, somewhere in Activision or in Infinity Ward that thinks that it's okay for them to add 1v1 Rust, but the minimap is still not turned on. Bro, we're playing 1v1. What is their problem with the minimap? They literally just hate any type of red dots or anything on the minimap you can't even play this game 
without a headset no more, man. You can't play without an Astro headset anymore. And look, man, I, I'm not saying that I'm the biggest try hard, but I'm also not saying that I'm the biggest sweat, you know what I'm saying? Or that I'm the biggest uh, relaxing player. I'm not any one of those. I just play the game to have fun and really just to get montage clips. Sometimes I take it seriously. Other times I don't. I just like playing Call of Duty. In this game, they have a legitimate problem with people who don't have headsets for some reason. If you don't have a headset in this game or on 1v1 Rust, you are shit out of luck because you sound like an elephant running around the map. I just wanna let you guys know that. If you're enjoying the 1v1 Rust public playlist, good for you. But for me, I'm not touching that shit. What is going on with this mini map is blasphemy. I honestly think it's blasphemy. I think it should never be allowed in Call of Duty again. I don't think this developer should ever come back to make another game, period. At least the people controlling the mini map. Whoever it is controlling that aspect of the game, please leave them out. I will never buy another game from them. It's such a simple fix that they refuse to fix that is just bugging me. And as more as I get to play this game and I'm trying to get ready for Warzone, at least understand the mechanics of Warzone and still enjoy gunfight. And look at that trade! Look at that trade. They they was hoeing us, man. They was they was trying it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this gets as even as two teams can get, as even gets, if that makes any sense. Ooh, I'm out here rhyming. Y'all feel that? Do y'all feel that? Ooh, your boy Zayzy out here with the smoothest touch. You know what I'm saying? But that's my problem. Playing one v one Rust hasn't been fun. I haven't enjoyed it uh, one second actually. Uh, not to mention it's just nothing but tryhards, which is cool. That's fun, but I don't really do 1v1 rust with regular guns. I can. I mean, that doesn't bother me, but it's just like, I really don't want to do that. I want to play with the snipers. I want to play with the car 98, the marksman rifles, the AX-50, you know, the sniper rifles. I want to play like that. That's how I grew up playing Modern Warfare. I was always 1v1 sniper rifles, but nonetheless, moving forward, I'm pretty, I'm pretty anxious. I'm not going to lie for the reveal of Warzone. I'm not saying anxious in a bad way. You know, I'm obviously not sitting here like it's life or death, which I talked about in yesterday's video with people in gaming leaks. More of so, it's like, a, uh, I want to say it's just looking forward to the plan and looking forward to how they unveil it and looking forward to the game. I hope it runs well. I hope it plays well. And cross-play is going to be something that is amazing. I, I hope, hope and pray that it's a good battle royale first person shooter crossplay. This could change the game. This could change the game. And as you can see, they gave us the MP7 for the last round the last round they gave us a submachine gun i was like yo there's no excuses here we have to win this there's no doubt about it we got the best weapon arguably the best weapon in the game in my opinion we have to do well right here it's something that has to happen and your boy jake came clutch for me i appreciate you jake i just want to let you know i uploaded this video for you jake you showed me up i thought i was gonna have to carry in gunfight tournament nah you made me look like a scrub i don't know about a scrub it was pretty even to be honest with you it was it was, it was pretty it was pretty even you feel me these people we hopped into and that we're playing against right now were actually mad cool. They were like trying to evaluate, see if we were good or not. And they hadn't won yet. And they were like, yo, we played this three times and we haven't won. We completely, completely snatched all hope from them. We destroyed that. We were like, yo, bro, you, you have no chance. We're better than you. We just came back from five, boy. You think we're finna give this up? You think we're finna lose this tournament? I was like, no, there's no way. There's no way. We played spectacular right here. Jake did his thing as always. I don't really know how I feel about Gulag showers because you can hop on top of the little window. But now that I figured out that you can hop up there, I can kind of counter the enemy very well. Because for the first couple months of the game, I was not doing that. I was just not hopping up there. I was not getting up there at all. And it's not like Hill where you just camp and you just sit there the whole time. On this map, you can't run around. You'll get people who run around. I mean, you're kind of forced to run around. But on Hill, man, people just sit in bushes all day and the shit's annoying as hell. But yeah, there's some crazy things going on in the world and Warzone is one of them. Another crazy thing that I've been seeing lately, if you guys haven't been paying attention to gaming news, I've been seeing a lot of rumors about not only Call of Duty's Warzone, but how the DLC model is going to be taking place. I don't know if they're going to do the same DLC model as they're doing in Modern Warfare. I hope so. That would be amazing. I don't just don't know if the season pass is going to be a part of Modern Warfare or it's going to be separate for the Battle Royale. I mean, I don't know. I have no clue about that. And I'm interested to see what you guys think about it because you guys know me. As long as there's no weapons and supply drops and it's not egregious, like there's not egregious cost for games or weapons in the game or not weapons, my bad, cosmetic items in the game, then I don't have a problem with it. Like I said, it's all cosmetic. If it doesn't affect the game for me, I, I just, I don't care about it. As long as I'm able to get the weapons, I'm able to play for the weapons. It doesn't really bother me that much, honestly. It doesn't, it doesn't piss me off, honestly. But we're going to see. I don't know. It's a battle royale. There's not going to be weapons probably at all to buy or to upgrade or anything like that. There's probably going to be skins, of course. There's always skins. Hopefully there's prestigious. Let's, let, let's make that very clear. Hopefully there's prestigious. It took Blackout forever to put prestigious into the battle royale. All right, let me make that clear. It took forever for that shit to happen. And Battle Royale Blackout did not really spice up or get any better until they added that stuff, man. I remember waiting on that shit all 
all year when Blackout was out. Just waiting for that, man. It killed the momentum of the game. And I'm hoping for prestigious in Warzone. I really am hoping for that. If they're going to reset the level every season, or they're going to follow that trend, at least make your seasons fun to grind. All right, prestigious is the funnest thing to grind in a first-person shooter or a shooter, period. I don't feel like it has the same value in Apex. It has the same value in Fortnite, where they just have levels. And the levels don't really mean anything. If you're going to have the levels mean something, at least let the Battle Pass tiers reset with your level so that you're ranking up with the Battle Pass so it feels like you're earning something and you are prestiging. But again, I don't know how they're going to handle that. I'm not going to jump to conclusions. We don't even know anything about that. Only thing that I know is that there was an article and I put the article in the link below as I always do or in the description below. I always say link below. Same shit. But in the description below will be a link. And in this link, it describes that the content creators such as probably Korean Savage, Syndicate, the sellout Syndicate. Nah, let me chill. Let me chill. I love Syndicate's Minecraft channel. But let's be honest, this man been selling out for a minute. I can't even sit here and cap about that shit. All right. That would be dishonest of me. And I try not to be dishonest. All right. I'm a, I'm a hardworking man out here. All right. I, I'm a man of the people. So they flew out a couple content creators and they're flying them out to get gameplay and to market this battle royale war zone. I don't know how it's going to be played or how they're going to do the recording. They're going to do the live stream like they did for gunfight when they first announced Modern Warfare or any gameplay for the multiplayer of Modern Warfare. So we're going to see how that happens. Let's see how that plays out. We know it's not being developed by Infinity Ward. So that's good. We have some hope there. Raven Studios did a great job with Modern Warfare Remastered. And let's just hope they do a great job with the battle royale, all right? I, I have faith in them. They did a great job to me with Modern Warfare Remastered. I didn't have a problem with it. I wish they would have fixed some things, some issues that the game used to have. But they just said, look, we want it to be the same game. We're going to leave it at the same game. We're just going to add new weapons and new things, new items that you can grind and unlock and get. So that was amazing by them. So Raven Studios has a good heart, in my opinion, in the Call of Duty community, a good reputation. Let's hope they continue that streak with this battle royale. I'm just glad that Infinity Ward does not have their hands on it. And if Infinity Ward does have their hands on it, at least they won't be controlling anything to do with the minimap because the minimap and battle royale really doesn't matter that much. But anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about Warzone, quote unquote, being delayed. What do you guys think about it coming up? Are you guys excited for it? Are you guys happy for it? Are you guys still looking forward to it like me and so many other people? As always, this is a place for you to comment those concerns, those criticisms, and what else you want to see from the game. It's your boy Zyaz. Ladies and gentlemen, we came back from 5-1 Tournament Champions. Bless up, God bless, and I'll catch you in the next one. I got that